Welcome to LineNC.org. Let's see what is production flow analysis. So in a manufacturing company, uh, whether they, they're producing products, see any number of products or any number of products, definitely they will be following a production flow. For example, if a company is producing a product called A or a, a product called A, first they will be using the data study, why the product is developed. Second, what mission they are using, what mission. Third, uh, the packing methods. What mission, then missioning process, so this is the mission, then missioning process, then uh, packing process, then dispatch. Likewise, they will be following a production flow. Okay, that is production flow analysis. See, identifying part families and associated mission groupings that uses the information contained in a production route chart. Now, this is a production route chart. What is production route chart? Uh, for example, if I'm producing a product A, first I will be having cleaning so, say clean then i'll be doing say drilling then say i'm doing uh, chamfering uh, then i'll be doing uh, drilling chamfering i'll be doing milling uh, then i'll be doing some threading or grooving etc etc this is the the production uh, root root sheet or production root sheet i'll be producing five products six products with holes without hole like this is, you know, I hope you what understood what is exactly a production route sheet is all about. That is identifying part families and associated mission grouping. So you know what is part family, you know what is mission grouping. And associated mission grouping that uses the information contained. This is the information, information contained in a production route sheet. Now basically production flow analysis, they will be looking at the manufacturing data or they will be using the manufacturing data rather than the design data in terms of part family. In a part family, they will be using the manufacturing data. Normally, for uh, Ellen, I said the design attribute, design data will be very much useful. For example, in optics classification, basic design data will be helpful. But in terms of production flow analysis, manufacturing data will be handy. By using the particular part family's manufacturing data, they will be analyzing what is required for the next product, say the product B. Okay, I'll clean this so that it will be uh, visible for you. So again, this is what I have said. So there are certain steps in the production flow analysis. First is scope of the study. Why I should analyze this production flow analysis, either for a particular part or for an entire part. For example, say I have to design a product called C. So why should I refer this production flow analysis, either to manufacture only this product C or the entire product that comes under C. A detailed study, whether I am going for, whether I need the data for the entire product or only for the particular product. That is the scope of the study. You have to limit your scope of study. You have to, for example, if you're doing a research project, first you'll be doing a study, a scope of study. Why should I do this project? Or why should I study this subject? Likewise, the scope of study is why should I refer this production flow analysis, either for all parts or for a particular part. That's the definition I've given for a user referral. All parts or particular parts. See, you can, uh, I'm covering maximum uh, basic of all this. So if you're listening to this video and uh, you are listening to the board, you can take the notes of it. So more at least for examination point of view, for passing the examination, instead of leaving the paper blank, you can write something out of this to score a minimum number of mark. So that's the scope of study. You have to study whether I have to do for all parts or for some particular part. Next is data collection, of course. After the scope of study is made, okay, I fixed, I am doing for a particular part. Then you have to study the data collection. What is data collection? Data collection is simply the manufacturing data. So how this product is, how this product is produced in data collection. And then it is a sortation of process routing. Again, what is process routing? Process routing is simply what lathe, whether I am doing the lathe machining or whether I am doing the milling machine, whether I am doing the drill. So that is the process routing, that is a sortation of, what is sortation? Arrangement. 
sortation means arrangement arrangement of 1 1 2 3 4 5 that is sortation means arrangement of process routing see here in the process routing the operations will be in terms of code for example lathe it will be 0 1 or cutting it will be 0 2 that you will be given a reference chart at the end of this video or in between the video you can find this uh, charting 0 1 for uh, for example for 0 1 means mill 0 2 means grind 0, sorry, 0 3 means lathe for example so whatever it is given so i'm not sure on what it is the, the recording you can find in the chart either in the description you can find in the chart or in the website you can find the chart or in this video itself you will find you will be given chart will be given so it will be edited by the editor i hope so okay there's sortation of process routing and next is production flow analysis chart this is a very important that's a, after the sortation of process routing you know what is now you understood what is sort, sortation of process routing i hope you are clear with what is process routing uh, how what are the process you are uh, using for the production drill mill and everything will be in terms of coding 0 1 0 2 etc okay that is sortation of sortation means again repeating arrangement next is the production flow analysis chart pfa chart this production flow analysis chart has a top tabulation of process or machine code Simply a PFA chart is for your reference. Say this is machines 1, 2, 3, 4, and these are the part families 1, 2, 3, 4, and 1, 1, 1, 1, 1. Now this is coded. A PFA a production for analysis chart is also given for your reference. So it's a tabulation of process machining code. So what kind of machining, uh, how it is done. So first what is done, second what is done. Or uh, for our indeed example, for example, consider there is a part family one, one. Okay, a part called one and a machining called one. This one is done with this one machine. This two, this two product is done with this two machine. The product three, this three is done with this machine three. So one, one, one. For easy reference, so hope you understood what I am saying. Say there is a product called one, a part called one. Say the part, there is a part called one. For your detailed explanation, you can do it again. Say there is a part called one. There is a machine called one. So this one is done with this one, two. This machine two can do this two. So the, that's, this is like this is this is what how a PFA chart works, and then finally is a cluster analysis. Cluster analysis. This uh, process process flow chart is also called as mission indices, mission indices, or a mission index J I I is zero. If it is zero, the mission count is zero. That you can find in process flow chart. And the detailed notes will be also been uploaded in the website very soon. And next is a cluster analysis. Final is a cluster analysis. Cluster analysis means regrouping the data. Regrouping the entire data. See if it is 1, 1. So 1, 1, 1, 2. This one mission can be done. The two mission, mission number 2. That is regroup. That is a cluster analysis. Which means regrouping the data taken from the PFA chart. Again, the cluster analysis chart is also given in the video, so you can refer. So this is actually this is completely comes under production flow analysis. So I'm given only the outline and only the basic to to make you understand what exactly is this. I'm not going into the detail. If you are, if you need uh, details, you can uh, refer our notes or you can contact us through learners.org. And next, we'll see what is cellular manufacturing. So cellular manufacturing is nothing but, so in uh, GT, you have, you have used similar material, similar, uh, similar parts. Now if it's dissimilar parts are grouped for a particular machine shell, uh, dissimilar parts are grouped in a particular um, machine cell, it comes under cellular 
manufacturing. That is the only definition I am giving you and in detailed video we will see later on. Thank you. And uh, you can subscribe uh, our channel for more videos and you can visit Learners ORG website for more details. So the detailed cellular manufacturing and uh, flexible manufacturing system, you can find the notes, uh, notes in our website. You can check out the notes uh, in our website. And for detailed video, so since it is a lockdown, we have some restrictions uh, to travel, to shoot. Maybe if you are not getting any such videos, you can find the notes first and the videos will be uploaded very soon. Hope you are all stay home, stay safe.